Hello grade 12, welcome to the educational channel. This is unit 1, episode 5, vocabulary, set book questions, and summary making. First, here are a few tips for the set book questions. Make sure to read all the questions carefully, and always remember, the questions are of general nature, so you can use your own background information or the textbook information. Write full, meaningful sentences, and provide two causes, reasons, or effects at least. Pay attention to handwriting and spelling, and revise your answers. Let's start with a few vocabulary words. The word break into. Break into is a phrasal verb, meaning to enter by force. Example, as you see in the picture, the thief broke into the house and robbed it. Fake is an adjective to describe something not real. For example, fake spare parts are spread in the market. Be careful. Always buy the real things, not the fake ones. Now, where is the man in the picture? He's invisible. Invisible is an adjective that means cannot be seen. Example, we need a microscope to see invisible bacteria. A techno-criminal is a noun. It means a person who has committed a crime using technology. That's why techno-criminal. Example, techno-criminals are a real threat to internet shoppers. Worthless. Worthless is an adjective, meaning having no value or importance or use. Example, it is unwise to pay a lot of money for worthless things. Before reading the passage, let's read these questions that we will find the answers to. Read New Crimes, the title of the passage, and answer these questions. What examples of old and new crimes does the writer give? Here, we want examples of the crimes. B. Why do criminals use the internet to communicate with each other? Let's find out. New crimes. An area of the law which is changing very quickly in the modern world is the law related to computer crime. Increasingly, criminals are using computers to help them commit new crimes, like identity theft, and to make it easier to commit old crimes like theft or fraud. Technological criminals may get into computer systems to find out confidential information and use this to make money. Unfortunately, computer crimes are often more difficult to solve than traditional crimes because the criminals are invisible and their actions may be impossible to prove. It can also be difficult to prosecute a computer criminal successfully because usually nothing is actually physically stolen or damaged. A particular factor in the growth of computer crime has been the increase in the number of ordinary people who use internet websites to buy things, to book holidays, or to access their bank accounts in order to transfer money or pay bills. This new type of business has attracted techno-criminals who may order goods and services without paying or break into the computer systems of businesses or financial organizations and either move money to their own account or send viruses which can seriously damage computers and the information they contain. These viruses can affect millions of people worldwide. Computers with internet connections can also be used more safely by criminals than face-to-face -face meetings or telephone conversations to pass on confidential information or to plan crimes. In addition to this, Computers allow criminals access to millions of people worldwide who they may persuade to pay for something worthless or to support a fake charity organization. Let's read the questions again. First one. What examples of old and new crimes does the writer give? Try to go back to the text and underline the answers. You can find the answer right here. New crimes like identity theft and old crimes like theft or fraud. B. Why do criminals use the internet to communicate with each other? So, in this paragraph we can see here, to pass on confidential information or to plan crimes, they use it more safely. Question number two says, read the article again. Match each beginning with one of the endings you have. 
So you have beginnings A, B, C, and D, and the endings from 1 to 5. Let's look at A. Criminals may make money by 1. Using confidential information they have found on a computer. The fact that actual things are not stolen by computer criminals. 3. Makes it more difficult for police to prosecute them successfully. There is no actual thing stolen. Many people all over the world can be affected if viruses are left on computers. And D. For criminals who want to plan a crime using the internet is safer than telephone conversations. Question 3. You have words A, B, C, D, E, and F, and you have the definitions or the meanings of the words underneath. Try matching the words with their meanings. You can pause the video and come back to look at the answers. Confidential means secret or private. Fake means not real. Identity theft means crime of stealing someone's personal details. They steal your identity. And prosecute means to accuse someone of a crime and try to prove it in a law court. E, solve a crime, means to discover who commits a crime. And F, transfer, to move from one place to another. Let's take a look at this slide now. Now, we have the law, we have computer crimes with techno criminals, and we have traditional crimes. Let's take a look at the difference. With computer crimes, criminals are invisible. You can't see who's stealing from you. And the actions are impossible to prove. And with traditional crimes, the old crimes, there is stolen equipment and it's easy to track the criminals because something is actually stolen. We need to enforce some laws to prevent computer crimes. We need to enforce laws that prevent several things such as computer viruses, identity theft, frauds, and hacking. Let's look at this vocabulary practice. Choose the best answer from A, B, C, or D. A person accused of a crime is presumed, do you remember, until proven guilty, innocent. Employers have a duty to ensure the safety of their workforce, legal. Here are five words and fill in the spaces with the suitable one. The secretary was criticized so much by her employers that she began to feel she was criticized. She felt worthless. Someone tried to, from the picture you will know the answer, someone tried to, our house while we were away, break into. The passenger was charged with possessing a passport. He was charged, so the passport was fake. These bacteria are, unless viewed with a microscope, so if you don't have a microscope, bacteria are invisible. Now. We're done with the setbook and the vocabulary questions. Let's take a look at how we can write a summary. Summary making is very easy, don't worry. Here are a few tips that will help you. First, highlight the major points in the text. You have a text, highlight the important parts, then break them into smaller sections. Write a sentence summarizing each idea separately, then put them in a paragraph that begins with a sentence of the thesis statement, like the main idea. Avoid repeating yourself in the paragraph and make sure you tie your notes together using connectors, like in addition, moreover, use your own words, and paraphrase. What do we mean when I say paraphrase? Think of it. Paraphrasing meaning you have to understand the passage you break up and join ideas together, you shorten the ideas, and you maintain the original passage, but you use your own words. Focus, I don't change the idea. I just use my own words. Here are ways you can use your own words very easily. You don't have to change the whole idea, the whole sentence. You can change a few words, for example, changing the vocabulary. Henry is 15. So he's not allowed to watch horror movies. 
I can replace watch movies with view films. As simple as that. You can change the form. For example, if I have an active sentence, I can change the verb form into passive. Jack couldn't deliver the letters today. The focus of the sentence, the letters couldn't be delivered today. I can change the word class. For example, a verb into a noun. If I have a noun, I can change it into an adjective, an adjective into an adverb, etc. For example, people love to view the sunset on the beach. Here, to view as a verb. I can say people enjoy the view of the sunset on the beach. Try to paraphrase this example alone, and then you can take a look at the answer. Of course, my answer may be different as yours, because we each paraphrase in our own style. People enjoy to visit London for its exciting history and for shopping. I can say, London is visited by people who enjoy exciting history, it's interesting history, and for shopping as well as for shopping. Now, in the summary making, usually you have to write four sentences in a paragraph form and answering a question that is there for you. Why are computer crimes on the increase? Let's take a look at the rubrics, meaning how we will correct your passage. I will check that the ideas are there. I will check if you paraphrase. We will check the spelling, the grammar, and don't change the format. Leave it as a paragraph, don't write it as points. Then total up the amount. If you copy the whole paragraph, you will receive a zero. Don't exceed the number of sentences asked from you. They ask for four. Now, let's write our summary. Why are computer crimes on the increase? You go back to the passage that we read at the beginning of this episode and try to summarize first. Why are computer crimes increasing? Here's a part. A particular factor in the growth, meaning the increase of computer crime, has been the increase in the number of ordinary people who use internet website to buy things. This is an answer. So that's one. The increase in the number of ordinary people who use internet. So instead of saying the increase in the number of people, I say lots of people use the internet. That's why computer crimes are on the increase. And I changed a particular factor in the growth of computer crime into growth means increase, remember? Why computer crimes are on the increase. So I flipped the sentence, changed a few words. Second thing might be, technological criminals may get into computer systems to find out confidential information and use this to make money. First, I add a connector before I paraphrase because I'm adding to the previous, I say, in addition. Then I paraphrase. To find out confidential information, do you remember confidential when we matched and meant secret or private? So secret or private information is used in these websites. Third answer. It can also be difficult to prosecute a computer criminal successfully because usually nothing is actually physically stolen or damaged. Don't forget, connector. Instead of using in addition over and over again, I'm gonna use more over and I'm gonna change. It can also be difficult to prosecute a computer criminal successfully. I can say the criminals can't be detected. I can't. And the fourth idea. Unfortunately, Computer crimes are often more difficult to solve than traditional crimes because the criminals are invisible and their actions may be impossible to prove. Because this is the last sentence, I'm going to use finally, or in the end, or to end this. Finally, their actions may be impossible to prove. I changed it into, it is impossible to get a proof. See, verb to noun a proof for their actions, and I switched the sentence. Take a look at the whole paragraph now, together, not points, paragraph. Why are computer crimes on the increase? Lots of people use the internet websites, that's why computer crimes are on the increase.
in addition or also secret or private information is used in these websites moreover the criminals can't be detected finally it is impossible to get a proof for their actions that was very easy you should practice the summary more in this episode we learned how to use the new vocabulary items and sentences answer the set book questions paraphrase and summarize a passage thank you for watching mm -hmm.